Hello everyone. This week we're going to walk you through a video game that you play inside Microsoft Excel called Arena.XLSM. That is coming up next. Hello everyone and welcome back. Now, first thing you're going to do is go over to CarryWalken.ca and I'll provide these download details. Uh, in the description of this video. So you just go down below and you'll see all the links and everything there. But this guy was an MBA student and looks like he created this as part of his MBA. So right now you click on this download version and it'll say right down here, uh, arena.xlsm, click on that. And that'll start the download process. I'll go ahead and open that with Excel, that's fine. And that's downloading now. Now, while that's downloading, now, once that downloads, it'll bring up Excel for you, and it'll look just like this. So this will be your start screen. Now, one of the things I'd recommend that you do before you start a new game or anything like that is to, it's going to ask you for what your username is, or what, you know, what do you want to be called, what your name is, your first and last name. So what I would recommend for this role-playing game, if this is going to ask you your, if this is going to ask you or say your name probably five times a minute, let's spice it up just a little bit. So I would suggest you come over here to playerappreciate.com and go ahead and get yourself a pimp name. You know, just go ahead and pimp it up. So we'll say Rick Grantham. And let's go ahead and pimpify that. Chic Rick Shizzle, which I happen to like a lot. So we'll go ahead and copy that. But let's say uh, I'm one of the other guys. Let's say a Chandu as an example. Pimpify his name, Suede Sweetness. So, uh, Chandu, I'd recommend that you make that your next Twitter. Or, uh, let's see, Ken Pulls as an example. Fine ass case move. So, there you go. So, go ahead and pimpify your name because you're going to appreciate that once you get to the next part of the next part of the game. So let's come back over to the game that's playing, and we'll hit New Game. Are you sure you want to start a new game? Yes. Enter your name. Oops. I think I was chic. Chic Rick Smooth. So that works. Hit the OK button. Now what this does, we'll go ahead and uh, increase the size of this. You see this is going to use your name quite a bit. And basically it walks you through. Um, it, go ahead and read all of this. We're not going to do it for the purposes of, of this demonstration. But go ahead and read all this. It's a story-based game. But you'll see usually in the second half of this, it gives you an idea of uh, things that are starting to come up around the enemy's statistics. You know, whether or not you need to... Uh, look for new enemies or not, and what those strengths might be of those enemies. So go ahead and read that. We're not going to do that here. Hit the close button. Let's go ahead and increase the size of this a little bit. We can see this a little bit better. Okay. Now, as you look at this right over here, you have the maze. That person in the middle with the smiley face is me. That guy right there, that's the enemy, and all these are like different barricades. Over here, my name's Sheik Rick Smooth. I'm a combatant, and you see I can add uh, attack and defense, accuracy, luck, and, and uh, all of my different tools down here. So here I have a sword for close combat, or I have a close combat, which is actually my bare hands. I have a distance, which is a small rock, and you know other items here. So the way I do this is we'll go ahead and let's decrease the size of this a little bit. Okay, so let's go down. You see he moves some whenever I move down. So now I'm going to try to hit him from a distance. He may be too far away. And I'm going to watch his statistics over here and then my statistics over here to make sure I don't die. And he's wasting a lot of energy, which is good. He's still at 41. His energy's going down. Oh, now he just went down to 21 whenever I hit at that time. And he's about dead. Yes, I found a large rock. Damage 15, range 5. Currently equipped. Yes, I want to equip that. And now I'm going on to the next guy. Go ahead and click on him. 
And the chipmunk died. Rick's, Cheek Rick Smooth has earned 250 points of fame. So not only is your fame, but your health is up here as well. So as you go to different levels, as you continue to move through this game and you go to different levels, uh, you get more and more available points that you can put on attack and defense. You start to run up against different, uh, different enemies that you're going against, and the entire board here changes as well. And in some cases, you get to later stages of this, and you know there's firewalls that people go through to try to get to you, so it's pretty cool. So, if you haven't downloaded this game yet, and you, you want to trick the boss into thinking that you're actually working in spreadsheets while you got this game in the background, I recommend you go check this out. It's, yeah, I downloaded it last night, and I've been playing it pretty much nonstop since. Um, so, that is at carrywalkin.ca. I'll put, I'll put all the uh, descriptions and everything, all the links, uh, you know, down here in the video. I did ask Carrie if I could do this video before I, before I recorded it. So, he'll likely, you know, if you have any comments down below, he'll likely respond to those comments, as I'm going to let him know where I'm posting this. So, until next time, this is Rick Grantham. This is a pretty cool game. Uh, I'm looking at version 1.3 of arena.xlsm. Thank you. Till next time.